Right, welcome back to yet another video. Um, so before I get into this brewing, a couple of things. Um, we're down close to 1,000 subscribers now. We've got about 991, I think, at the point of filming this video. Um, some of the videos we've been putting on are quite old, but this one's going to be going up the same day I film it. Um, but yeah, we're 991 subscribers, so only 9 off 1,000. So as soon as we get 1,000, we're going to start a proper upload schedule. I think we're thinking of Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays. And I'll put a sort of bonus video perhaps on on a uh, Sunday if I've got time to film them. And obviously there's something interesting to film. Uh, so yeah, expect better content, more frequent content. Uh, so yeah. I think we're also planning a 1,000 subscribers special, which can be quite long, about an hour. I think we're going to go somewhere and do something quite interesting. I'm not going to say Top Gear style, because loads of people do Top Gear style and it's just absolute rubbish. Because you compare it to Top Gear and etc, etc. But anyway, we're going to do something. But the, today, the topic of today's video is this uh, Yamaha Bruin. Um, I was told it was a 2011. Um, I got it from a Yamaha dealer locally who was clearing out a load of stock. Um, a friend works there who was able to sort of tell me they were getting rid of all these things. Um, I had this bike and a couple of others which I'm not going to show on film. Uh, but there's the ASIC tag number. Uh, I've been sitting there for quite a while so I got a reasonable price on it. Not the best price, um, but enough to enjoy playing with it. Um, as I say, I was told it was a 2011, but I think it's older. Um, it does have a couple of sort of later style things on. This cover is a later style recoil cover. Obviously, there's no recoil on there at all. Um, the older bikes, pre-2009, had an actual recoil. But obviously, that's hanging loose, and inside there, you can see the cog that you would use for the uh, pull starter. Normally, they've got these sort of covers on, like my Grizzly 350, which isn't here at the minute and they wouldn't have that pulley, obviously there's no need for it. And also the stickers are older, and the shifter is older. This rubber style shifter went out about 09, for just a plastic gated type shifter. I think personally, this is more of a 2005, and this data tag that's on it is from 2005. <laughs> so I'm pretty certain this is an 05 bike. I haven't decoded the VIN to have a look yet. Um, but it had been sitting in their yard for quite some time, um, it had been used as a bit of a parts bike, they robbed all sorts of it. Um, it was missing the battery, as well as you would sort of expect, but it was also missing the starter motor. Um, as you can see, I don't know if you can, but I've got a new starter motor on it there. There you go, look. I've just put that on. Um, what else was it missing? It's mi it was missing the mass cylinder. I put a new one of them on. It's still missing a caliper on this side, because I haven't had it come in. As you can see the line's hanging loose. Uh, it's got its caliper on that side, so somebody just robbed it for parts. Um, what else? I think that was about it. I think that was all that was missing, but yeah, I'd say it had been sitting in that yard for quite some time, uh, so it does need a damn good throw going through. The story on it was that the um, start was playing up, so the person who traded it in on a newer bike uh, and just left it, basically. But I think they put a starter on it, trying to get it going to uh, resell, but they couldn't get it to run tidy. The car was choking and doing all sorts of strange things. Um, I've had a look inside that carb and it was absolutely rancid. So I think they didn't have a clue what they were doing and they've just played around with the mixer screw because the mixer screw is way out. Um, it should be two and a half turns out from fully screwed in on these, but it must be about 10 turns out. So I think they just had a filthy carb and they've been really playing around with it. Um, but unfortunately, I can't use this carb at the moment. As you can see, the choke plunger is missing. They must have lost it when they've been playing about with it. All these cables are disconnected. I've got the throttle cable back on, but I can't do anything without that without the choke plunger or the uh, little screw. So I've ordered a whole new Chinese carb, which I won't be using, but I'll be using the plunger and screw, etc., to get this uh, Mikuni one going. I never bother with Chinese carbs. If you've seen my other videos, they're terrible. Um, but it needs various other bits and pieces. As I say, it's not running at the minute because... Um, I can't use that carb. The ignition key was missing as well. I've put a new Chinese one on there. As you can see, it does uh, all light up. And the solenoid's no good on it. And that's not the dealer's fault. That's me that nicked it for another bike. So I've got another one of them coming. Uh, it's missing a, or well, it's got a broken light lens on the back here. That's not too much of a concern, to be fair. Uh, switchable two and four wheel drive. That does work, as you can hear. So that all operates. The little light doesn't come on, um, but quite commonly on these 350s, 
I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, I think you can, just about. Let's see if we can get you a bit further in. If you see that plug on the uh, actuator there, there's a separate wire that goes to a sensor on the diff and they always snap because uh, there's nothing tying them down, so I'm pretty sure that's happened on this one. So I'll have a look at that and reconnect it, and we should be fine. Racks haven't been uh, coated at any point, so I'll take these off, have these sandblasted and repainted. That'll make them look quite tidy. These tyres are completely knackered on the front. They're bald as can be. Let's have a look how old they are. Where's the date code? On the other side, perhaps? There it is. Week 5, 2011. So yeah, these are really old knackered tyres. The backs. Backs are BKT wings. They've got some decent tread on. These are quite good tyres. Uh, week 21, 2016. So that's fine. I'll leave them on there. Back axle looks reasonable. There's not too much rust on it. It's still got its towing tag on, which is quite unusual. <coughs> Missing its toolkit. I think I've got one of them over here. But I forgot to give away with another Yamaha I used to have. Yeah, I think this is a Yamaha kit. Yeah, that's the Yamaha type, so I've got a tool kit to give in it. Um, so obviously I can't see if it's running or not. I have it running on starter fluids, so I think it should be fine. Um, come on. I've got a split CV boot there. It looks like it's been dry for a very long time. And not much play in it, so we'll see if just greasing that up and putting a new boot on might be alright. Might have to change that axle. These ball joints down the bottom, they're completely destroyed, look. Rubbers are completely shot. Which you can see if you pull the tyre out, like this. Look at that. You see that? They're bad, so I have to replace them. But again, I think I've got some brand new ones just in here. Yeah. Brand new ball joints, I'll go on it. So yeah, nice little project really. As I say, this has been filmed currently. Um, so I can interact with you a bit more on it, because it's still here at the moment. I haven't even checked the oil on it actually, let's have a look. Oh, that's good actually. Look at that. It's nice and clean. So yeah, I think I'll do some how-tos on this bike. Uh, and we'll show the finished product like I used to years ago. Sort of a uh, introductory video and then a completion video. And look forward to many more videos to come. Oh, and also, this bike is probably going to be sold. And um, we've got loads and loads and loads of them now. It's like a little hoard. So, uh... Yeah, this will be going up for sale, but only once we've finished it. We're not going to sell it as it is. It'll only go once we've finished it. Uh, so it'll have powder coated racks, it'll have new brakes, it'll have new solenoid, new battery, new starter, new ball joints, um, potentially new carb. So yeah, it'll have a lot of stuff. It'll have new front tyres. So if you're interested in it, um, drop a comment below and get in touch. And yeah, I suppose we'll see you in the next one.